In this video, I'll show you how to set date formatting for individual projects. In Microsoft Project, you probably already know that there is a date format option in the Project Options dialog that controls the formatting of the dates in every project that you open. But did you know there's a feature most people have never noticed that will allow you to specify date formatting individually on a project by project basis with date formatting that differs from what's in the Project Options dialog. I think you'll find this video really interesting. So let's get started. In Microsoft Project, the date formatting for every project is controlled by a single option in the software. Here's how to find that option. Click the File tab to display the Backstage, and then click the Options tab in the Backstage. The date formatting for every project you open is controlled by a single option. It's called the Date Format option. The default date format setting for every new copy of the Microsoft Project desktop application is set to the day of the week plus the date. You can change this option, but when you do, it will impact every project that you open. So I'll go ahead and change the date format setting to the one I want, which is the 12809 setting. That's what we call the short date format. And then I'll click the OK button, and sure enough, look, the dates in the start and finish columns have now changed to the short date format. However, for this particular project, I want to use an entirely different date format. I want the date plus the time of day, so I can see what time each task is starting and finishing. Here's how to make that change. Right mouse click on the Select All button. Remember, that's the blank button immediately above the row zero ID number. And then choose the More Tables item on the shortcut menu. In the More Tables dialog, leave the entry table selected and then click the Edit button. In the Table Definition dialog, there's an option down at the bottom that most people have probably never noticed. It's the date format option. This is the date format specifically for this table. So what I would like is the date format called 12809-1233 p.m. That's the date plus the time. And when I click the OK button, that will change the date formatting for this particular table. Now it's not applied yet because I haven't applied the table. Here's some good news for you. The entry table is shared in common by three default views. They are the Gantt chart view, the tracking Gantt view, and the task sheet view. So if you make a change to the entry table, that change impacts three views. Now, I do recommend that you change the date formatting in a couple of other tables as well for the sake of consistency in the views and the tables you use. One of those is called the Variance table, so I'll select Variance, click Edit, change the date format. Another one I recommend you change is the Usage table. That's the table that is displayed in the task usage view. So let's go ahead and edit that. And again, we'll change to the date and time format. And then finally, I think it makes sense to format the baseline table as well. So select baseline, click edit, 
change the formatting, click the OK button. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the results of these formatting changes. So I'll go back to the entry table and I'll apply the new table to the Gantt chart view. And there you have it. Notice the start and finish columns now display the date plus the time. And if I switch to the variance table, let's pull the split bar over so we can see the columns. Look, there you go. All four of the date related columns have the correct formatting. If I apply the task usage view, there we go. We can see the start and finish date columns now have the correct formatting. And while we're at it, let's go back to the Gantt chart view and I'll bring up the baseline table. You have to actually go into more tables to do that. So let's apply the baseline column and there they are. Baseline start, baseline finish all have the correct date formatting. So the trick for formatting the dates in a particular project is to change the formatting of the most commonly used tables in that project, which include the entry table, the variance table, the usage table, and the baseline table. Now you know the secret for setting date formatting on a project-by-project project basis. If you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, I hope you'll do that right now. And if you do, be sure and click the notification button so that you'll be notified whenever we upload a new video. I also hope you'll share my YouTube channel with your colleagues and co-workers so that they might benefit as well. And as always, I'll see you in my next video.